What I love about Elevate is this is a way that I like to start my day. And whether you start it in the morning or 10 o'clock at noon, um, you know, it's a great flooding of the body with nutrition. There are four and a half servings of superfoods. And so um, it's really important that you understand what a superfood is as opposed to a non-superfood. The amount of trace minerals that are in those foods, it covers off the spectrum, right? The, the vitamins and minerals that are in there, it covers off the spectrum, but it's also four and a half servings. If you had four and a half servings of fruit, for example, in the morning, you probably overload your um, sh blood sugar levels and your insulin would start to go up and all those kinds of things. So to know that you can get this assurance into your day, the first thing when you start it, that's, that right there is powerful. And just, I didn't do a slide for this one, but you know that you have great kids. That's what great kids is, right? It's just those four and a half servings of all those superfoods. It's one of them is great for kids. Two of them is great for adults. I use both Elevate and Great Kids. Elevate is a daily thing for me. Great Kids is what I use to pick me up in the afternoon. There's no caffeine in there. So I just add it to my water. And there's something about the bioavailability of, of these products. A lot of uh, supplements, when you buy them from the store, they are not whole foods. They are um, made with heat. They're actually pressed into hard little pellets. They often have a coating around them and your body does not break them down. And I was, uh, I have friends who are in the, the business of say porta potties. So you have a major event, they bring out their trailers of all that nice stuff. When they go and clean that out, I have had them tell me this because I'm a person who loves dietary supplementation. They talk about these pellets that they wash out of those porta potties, just tons of them that they're washing out. That is from the daily vitamins that most people grab from their grocery store that are not bioavailable to their bodies. And so um, this kind of food, that this, this kind of production, it is bioavailable. Your body does absorb it and it knows what to do with it. So that's a great thing about Elevate. I also like the nootropic blend. Um, nootropics are what improve your brain chemistry. And so what you need are things in the daytime, in the morning part to fire up your brain, to actually get it alert, um, give you energy, give you that mental clarity, focus and drive to hit the day and want to actually get things done. As you age, that gets more and more difficult to do. Um, but even people in their thirties who probably still feel really good, we know when we do from the evidence of brain scans that there is a lot of brain inflammation um, in the brain based on the stress of our, of our lives, the toxins in our environment, the caffeinated beverages that everybody over consumes. This is not making us healthy. It's, it's making us ill. And brain inflammation, if left unchecked, absolutely leads to disease, whether it's um, the early onset of an autoimmune disease, such as Parkinson's or something like that. Brain inflammation is a very serious aspect of wellness. And we need to be doing what we can to minimize brain inflammation. And so the nootropics that are in here really help your brain to function better. Um, the neurons that fire and send out messages, those messages often as you age just end up going away. They end up not arriving at the destination and we have to fire more and more. And so we get slower in our expression of what we're trying to say and do. It's not that we don't understand, it's just that our ability to communicate it slows down. So we need to be having these healthy nootropics at this part of the day to help our brain function better. And then there's herbal adaptogens in this blend that there are actually um, pharmaceutical studies being done now, and it's moving into the pharmaceutical industry. The nutraceutical and pharmaceutical industry are really starting to blend as biochemists look for less um, what's invasive ways to deal, to manage symptoms and to deal with some of the problems we face. Because when you start looking into the pharmaceutical world only, there are a lot of side effects too, and then they can be quite damaging to a lot of the things that people uh, put in their body. So herbal adaptogens really um, help your body deal with stress. They protect cells and they really um, help mitigate or minimize the impact of stress on your cells because stress is a killer that leads to things like heart disease um, and other issues that end life prematurely. Um, there's also energy piece to this and it's the green coffee bean. There is L-theanine for promoting weight loss. Um, and this is an antioxidant. This is not like the caffeine that you get at the drive-through. And I've heard a lot of people say to me, well, I like my coffee, I don't need caffeine, I've already taken care of that. It's not the same thing. Yes, caffeine has an addictive um, part to it. It actually um, is something where you require more and more caffeine to get the same hit. So 
when you consume this and then you consume coffee, you can run into some problems in how that works in your body and how it's all metabolized. Tips for taking Elevate, I would encourage most people not to take it on an empty stomach. So therefore I don't take it just at six o'clock in the morning. I take mine around 10 after I've had a small breakfast. And then I also take it with a really healthy, fat, clean, high protein uh, snack. And everybody sees my picture of avocados and berries and nuts and hemp hearts and things like that. Because what that does is it, it prevents the rapid absorption and spike uh, from the caffeine on my body. So it moves the jitters away. Um, it actually gives me more sustained energy when I combine it with those kinds of um, healthy fats. So that's just a tip on using it. But if you are having to share with somebody, what is Elevate for? Well, just look at that little phrase that's up there. Elevate can help you perform mentally and physically at high level without brain fog, moodiness, or other negative side effects that sugary over-caffeinated drinks um, have. And you might also drop in there. Plus, it also has that, um, that caffeine part, that thermogenic, that can also assist with weight loss. So um, that's Elevate. And we'll just keep going to the next one in the series. So we're going to look at Restore. Um, Restore is really, really an intelligent product. And I just hope that people can learn to get it to work in their system. Sometimes when we start to impact gut health um, and the digestive process, we go through some discomfort as that's healing and changing. So, you know, people like to call it a detox. Um, it's not a wrong word, but this is not a detox pill. This is a pill that supports your detoxing organs. So um, when I think about it, really, it is about the, di the whole digestive process. You've got the prebiotics that feed a probiotic. The probiotic is a very high quality. It's encapsulated. 97% of probiotics die before your body can use them because they're very unstable. They can't tolerate heat. They can't tolerate acidity. Well, guess what's in your stomach? Heat and acidity. So this capsule or this, this shield that's around it helps it get into or survive to get into the small intestine where eventually that's um, eaten through and then it releases the spores into the uh, small intestine area so that it can move through the digestive tract. So that's um, powerful. A lot of people take probiotics and don't feel different. <laughs> this one will change how your digestive system is behaving. Um, it also has the digestive enzymes. Really, really one of the best features of that, well, not the best, but it really sets it above other products that I've seen because there's nine of them. And most of them will choose two or three because you just they just want one for fat, one for carbs, and one for protein. Digestive enzymes' job is to break down food into the smallest particles so you can absorb it. And that is a real problem in North America, the way that we produce food, the way that we have preservatives, and the way we deliver food. The distance from a uh, field to your table is a lot. And there's a lot of time there. And there's preservatives going in to preserve the food so that you get it before it's rotten. Um, and, and you can see that you put bread on your shelf, you know, for a week. Well, if you go make bread, you leave it three days and it's, it's done, right? So the, those uh, chemicals that wrap around food that bugs don't eat on the shelf, that actually um, makes it very difficult for the bugs in your belly to break down that food. So a lot of times we're just passing that through. We're getting a calorie, but we're not getting a nutrition. So we're overweight, but undernourished. <laughs> so digestive enzymes break down those pieces into the smallest parts that you can actually get your body to absorb, which happens in the small intestine all along that, you know, I don't know if it's nine feet, I can't remember how big it is, but it's all happening along there, different foods at different parts. And then your body starts to secrete hormones in response to that. And as your hormone balancing picks up, the rest of your health starts to improve. Like you think about the relationship between the gut and the brain, the more serotonin that's released through the gut that gets as a neurotransmitter moves to the brain and your lights come on and you're happy and you feel like you can accomplish things. It's all connected. And this, this product is a huge reason for that happening. Um, other pieces of this, you know, I know that people have bowel movements all over the place. Some people say they're going too much. Other people say they're not going for days. We have to learn to use water and the food we consume to work with this product because for most people, you're going to get some kind of change. But dandelion root, just another superfood that we've been killing for years, um, it's something that will actually help with constipation. There is slippery elm that um, really for the whole digestive tract, it's, um, it increase, it, it's a smoothing agent, but it also increases stomach acid so that and people go, well, I have GERD or I have acid reflux. You can't increase my stomach acid. What happens is stomach acid gets so low that food sits too long in the stomach. 
because it's not getting broken down. There's not enough acid. So the food sits in there and rots, and then it causes more reaction to the to get go up into your esophagus and really cause your burn and whatnot. So slippery elm can actually help your body naturally increase it so that it starts to break down food and starts to function better. But the process of getting there isn't pleasant because most people are on uh, some kind of anti-acid thing to kill the acidity of your stomach, which prevents you from breaking down food. <laughs> so there are side effects to those um, pharmaceuticals that are not pleasant long-term. And so if you can you know, start to use products like this to support the entire digestive process, um, over time, you should be able to heal, your, heal yourself as long as you're eating the right food, as long as you know how to use food properly. There's also things like um, aloe vera, and that also can uh, help with coating passageways and, and pathways and stuff like that. With the liver, um, great liver support, milk thistle, for example, there are studies done that help an alcoholic liver or a fatty liver recover um, it helps it on that journey. So milk thistle is in here. Um, there are some other ones. Um, dandelion root is another one that does that. So what, what we have been, when your liver can get healthy, it produces bile, and that is what helps you actually break down fats. So that's what you need. You need your liver healthy to actually be a healthy weight because it's a fat burning organ. And you, it gives you, helps you have that good blood report from the doctor's office. So this is a very intelligent product that really is about a journey of getting to long-term health. And I hope that uh, most of you have the perseverance to figure out how it works best in your body and uh, be able to keep that as an ongoing lifelong supplement. The other part of the Epic Pack is sleep. And um, other than the fact that, you know, it's got the, when you look at sleep aids, natural sleep aids, you could buy these things individually, but this product has them all in there in, in a blend. So that sleep slumber blend um, is actually, to... <laughs> actually going to get you to go through the process of sleep so that you can um, go through the, the shutdown of it so that you can fall into the deep sleep. And that's really important because deep sleep is where your body heals, it's where your hormones balance, and it's in, it's integral. It's so important to weight loss. If you do not sleep, all the stuff you do, whether it's diet and exercise and, kind of, and that kind of thing, it's not going to overcome the lack of sleep. You have to stop the body from flooding itself with adrenaline because that spikes cortisol. So that's where the uh, stress melt blend comes in with ashwagandha, lemon balm, and passion flower. Um, it's just fantastic for helping those hormones balance to get your body through a transition. Some of us get sleep right away, and some of us have fought for sleep for two months on this program. I have some ladies that have joined me in this business that have incredible sleep now. They, it took them two, almost three months to get there, but they now have you know seven, eight, nine hours of sleep, and their deep sleep is like up to four hours. <laughs> Anyway, there's your sleep slide, but you guys have these things. They are the key phrases that we take out of that three page um, PDF that you can download at any time and you can get and read through. It's just most people look at that and they glaze over and go, I don't know what to do with that. So here you see a nice little phrase that sleep is that natural soothing effect, right? That makes you sleep more soundly. Um, and the other thing that I would just say that it helps people uh, balance their hormones like cortisol so that they can actually go through the sleep stages and fall into that deep restful sleep where the body repairs itself and cells rejuvenate.